we have looked at the natural response of RL and RC circuits. Now we are moving towards looking at the forced response of RL and RC circuits. That is where RL circuits or RC circuits are going to have a source with them. Usually these sources are considered to be suddenly applied to a circuit like a switch is used which suddenly uh, puts a circuit, puts, puts a voltage source or current source in the circuit or although we sometimes like to draw the switch but sometimes we don't like to draw the switch. So in mathematics there is a function with the name of unit step function that we will be using to replace the switches. So it's very under, uh, very important to understand what a unit step function is. So for example, suppose we have a circuit here. So this is a voltage source. It is connected to some circuit. So this is the circuit. We are not interested in what the circuit is right now. It is connected to this circuit, but there is a switch here. So when the switch is open, there is this voltage source is not in the circuit but when the switch is closed it makes contact and now this this uh, source is basically connected to the circuit so earlier it was not connected now it's connected and there can be many configurations so for example sometimes this is drawn as this way so there is a switch uh, let me see how we can draw it let us, let us let us make the switch in this direction so we have a short circuit here is very interesting we have a circuit here I believe that the depiction of this thing in the book is wrong because it creates a situation of impermissibility so I am trying to draw a circuit that is not that does not have this impermissibility problem. So actually we have this switch here and it can connect to this point. It is a it has a pivot here so or a hinge. So the switch can move around this. This part can move. This part can move. It can make connection here or it can make connection here. So it this switch can move in this direction or in this direction. The way the book has drawn, um, well, after a second uh, look at the book, I think the, the book circuit is correct too. I just misread it first time. Anyway, so basically the switch is making a connect here, con contact here initially and it is open here. And then suddenly, in no time, the switch is thrown to this point. So at t is equal to zero, usually switches are written with a value of time to tell that when the switch operates. So at t is equal to zero, this switch is thrown from here to here. So we don't have this arrow. So the switch is thrown from this to here, from A node to B node. So what did we have between these two terminals? So when the switch was here, between these two terminals we had, suppose this voltage is Vt, then Vt was zero before T is equal to zero. T is equal to zero was the time at which the switch was operated. Before T is equal to zero, the switch was here at A, 
and the voltage across the circuit was basically short zero but then at t equal to zero the switch is suddenly thrown to this point so the voltage is say whatever this voltage is vs for t greater than zero you can put equality here or here it does not matter but let us try to put equality here in order to understand the behavior of the circuit at zero and afterwards so this this function has a special name this mathematical function is what is called a unit step function because if i now plot this vt we get something like this this is value vs so at zero before zero the value is zero before zero it is zero and then at zero it suddenly is vs so we have a discontinuity here or a sudden jump this suddenness or instantaneousness or discontinuity here is very special uh, to circuits in real life this is not possible it takes finite time for anything to be established anywhere but in in theory basically nobody is stopping us from doing this and this value vs of voltage was suddenly applied to two terminals and earlier it was zero so this discontinuity is is basically translated to a function known as the unit step function a unit step function is written as ut is a function of time and it is described in exactly the same way it is zero before t is equal to zero and it is one the jump the jump size is unity that is why it is known as unit step function the step size is unity so it is one for t greater than zero so there is a discontinuity exactly at t is equal to zero you can write it in this way so this is ut ut is zero before t is equal to zero one afterwards and a discontinuity exactly at t is equal to zero this is a unit step function so when you encounter a circuit now suppose this is a circuit and there is no switch there we are going to replace the switch by this description of unit step function and if we now write vs ut vs is a constant say 10 volts source is there and we write 10 ut volts now there is no switch here now what is this voltage vt now vt is zero before t is equal to zero because of this ut and it is 10 afterwards so this vt for this case is zero before t is equal to zero and 10 afterwards so this is the benefit of this unit step function we can translate circuits with switches to simple expressions and instead of writing them in a two-step way like this we can just write them in a single expression so if if you come across this expression let us say some voltage is 10 ut minus ut minus 2 now this is another very interesting thing so if this is ut what would u of minus t be that is we have flipped the time axis the positive axis goes to this side and the negative axis goes to comes to this side why because t is replaced by minus t so basically how do how are we going to plot this so this is not this is again the time axis but the function has flipped whatever the function does at positive time will now be done at negative time so this is u of minus t at zero before zero it is one now and after zero it is zero this is u of minus t so you can very easily see that we have ut here and a negative ut here but what is this t minus two so let me explain this a bit as well so this function ut has a discontinuity at t is equal to zero this argument must be put equal to zero 
so if i want this discontinuity to go to 1 t is equal to 1 i want a function that is 0 before 1 but is 1 afterward so actually i am just shifting this whole function by 1 so t has been moved to a later time because this is the time axis time is flowing this way so this time came early then one second passed this time is a later time so time has delayed so for this dashed function i am going to write whatever used to happen at zero is now happening at one so time is delayed by one and if i now delay it to two i can write this as ut minus two so what is this 10 ut minus ut minus 2 so ut is nothing but this thing and minus sorry uh, there is no use of this thing right now it is just an additional knowledge that i have tried to provide this is minus ut not u of minus t so it is different actually so if this is ut then minus ut would be the value of the function flipped so when it was 0 it will remain 0 but when it was 1 it will now become minus 1 so this is minus u of t anyway this is it is good to know that if t flips it it becomes this way and if the function itself flips it becomes negative so all the positive values become negative and if there had been some negative values they will become positive values so now we can interpret what this is 10 ut minus ut minus 2 so this is ut let us do it stepwise no hurry this is ut so we have interpreted what this is what is ut minus 2 so we have 1 here 2 here this is ut minus 2 and what is ut minus ut minus 2 so we have to subtract values corresponding values of this function as, as corresponding values of this function from this function ut is first so 0 here 0 here so 0 minus 0 is let us draw ut minus ut minus 2 so take a value here take a value here subtract this value from this one right then I draw here so 0 minus 0 is 0 now here it is 1 it is 0 here from 0 to 2 it is 0 it is 1 1 minus 0 is 1 and what about after 2 so after 2 it is 1 after 2 it is 1 as well so 1 minus 1 is 0 so what do we get we get a pulse a unit pulse of duration two set two whatever the unit of time are so this is a unit pulse it's it has a value of one and its duration is two so this is known as a pulse this is a unit step function this is a pulse and 10 times multiply this this whole thing by 10 what do we get it's not 1 in this 2 interval it is 10 so what do actually uh, what do we actually have here is, is suppose this is a voltage then between these two points we have a circuit here the voltage was whatever we have here is the voltage between these two points was 0 first then suddenly moved to 10 volts and then after 2 say 2 seconds the voltage is again brought down to 0 so suppose we say that we have a voltage source of 10 volts here and we have a switch here and somebody tells you that this switch operates at t is equal to 0 and then operates again this way at t is equal to 2 so what's going to happen although there is an issue with this depiction of this thing 
but this is usually taken uh, to be equivalent although they are not the book tries to explain this as well so while the actual depiction of this thing is this but sometimes we use this circuit to uh, show an equivalent switch based configuration as well what is wrong with this and it's not wrong here it's wrong here what so when the switch is open the voltage between these two terminals is not zero the circuit is going to determine what is the voltage here because this is not part of the circuit the circuit determines and open does not mean zero volts but a short definitely means zero volts and it was zero before t equal to zero and vs afterwards so but it's very cumbersome and lengthy to draw it this way so we usually draw it like this so i am just using that same depiction here as well so the voltage this voltage source was not within the circuit before t is equal to 0 suddenly it became part of the circuit for 2 seconds and then uh, at t is equal to 2 second the switch again opens and this circuit basically uh, this uh, voltage source again is gotten out of the circuit so this way we can represent switching circuits so we can we can say have a circuit like this say 10 ut minus 2 and say 10 ut minus 5 and then there is a circuit and we are dealing with this voltage source so what is vt here now can you understand its nature so this source is zero is shorted out before 2 this source is shorted out before 5 so before 2 both are shorted out so it is zero before 2 between 2 and 5 the 5 is shorted out but this comes into play so within this interval 2 and 5 this 10 volt source connects to these two terminals they're sorted out and as this comes into play at t is equal to 5 after t is equal to 5 this has polarity this way and it has opposite polarity so both of them are going to cancel each other and we are going to get zero volts so it is zero after 5 as well so this is such a uh, circuit where in another way we could have written we could have drawn the same thing in this fashion the circuit and a single source and it is 10 u of t minus 2 minus u of t minus 5 exactly the way i have described here but it is for you to understand try to understand this and represent several configurations uh, in this fashion this may come in handy when we have to understand switching circuits um, and draw them by eliminating the switches so with this uh, understanding of a unit step function or the switch actually try to understand the switch as well so let me not end the uh, video right here let me just add a few points in here uh, that there are two types of switch that we are going to use one of, one is this type it is called a, a make it is sorry called a, a is is a normal switch actually it does not have a special name when i draw the other switch you will see the importance of the name and just like this switch sometimes we use a switch like this we have a switch we have two different circuits so we have something here we have something here and then we have something here see this is something a circuit we are talking about this voltage and the switch say at t is equal to 0 this switch moves in this direction now this is a very special switch the way it is made you see 
here the switch is just open and it makes contact at some point with this one but here the switch was at this point and then the switch this switch handle moves to this point and from moving from here to here you see there was a part when I may have drawn this very long but when the switch was here it was not touching this one so only this was the circuit this was this voltage source was out of the circuit and when the switch moved here it uh, made contact here but it, it is not touching this circuit now so basically the source came into uh, play in this uh, to the circuit so this type of switch is known as make before break switch it is a very practical thing not really of concern in this course but I want you to understand this a make before break switch is a switch which makes connection with these uh, with the next um, circuit before leaving before breaking from the previous circuit and this is really really important when we are uh, discussing uh, switching in inductors why this is so when we say this inductor is connected to this circuit we have a resistor here and this inductor then suddenly connects to this resistor R2 so initially it was connected to R1 this A node and this B node and at T is equal to 0 it suddenly moved to B now when this switch was moving from A to B when it was not connecting A nor connecting B let us for simplicity let us for better clarity and um, completeness let us say we have a voltage source here in this circuit and a resistor R1 so initially the switch was here for a long time so if, if the inductor was in this circuit for a long time it will become energized there will be a current flowing in here and remember the important property of an inductor that an inductor resists sudden change in current and a current must keep flowing there must be a closed path for a, a current to flow so now when the switch will be in the air with this switch handle and it loses connection with A and it, it has not made connection with B where would all the current be going that would be flowing in the inductor so for the case of inductors they, they use make before break switches so it is made like this so you see before it is going to break the connection with this point A wire before it is going to break this one it's going to make the connection with B and for inductors it makes perfect sense but for a capacitor this is not important so if we have a capacitor and we have a switch here and it, it is going to uh, break from this and going to make connection with this one it does not matter whether we have a make before break, break switch why because the voltage on the capacitor stays but the current through the uh, inductor is not going to keep flowing and there is no no way to flow and that is one of the very very important uh, uh, natural uh, not natural but one of the very important phenomena that you might have seen in very high tension circuits when they uh, make or break uh, then when they operate a large switch <clears throat> you can search YouTube videos on uh, uh, high tension switch opening or a switch uh, at a grid station operating they are motorized switches so when they open up when they break the connection from the uh, the circuit they are trying to break connection with there will be some inductive load in the circuit inductance is definitely present in circuits for example in all the fans there are windings wherever there is winding there is inductance so when you are trying to open a circuit uh, with uh, inductors in them the inductors will keep the current uh, will continue the currents from uh, flowing so when you open them up so the switch was making contact here but when you open the switch the inductor wants to keep the current flowing but where uh, would that current go so the 
path, the air between these two, the switch and the previous joint, the node, will break down and current and it will conduct basically and the current will flow through air and an arc can be seen. So this arc is something that is very uh, commonly observed in switches. So at home even you, if you light up a dark room, you operate a switch, you can see a flash happening uh, behind it. That is all because of these uh, inductors and inductance effects in things.